My name is Christina Goldsby. I am here with the Sundance Film Forward program in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm here with the feature documentary TIG, which premiered in Sundance in 2015. Please welcome the very funny TIG Notaro. Uh, how's it going? Good. <laughs> so inspiring to get to come here into Omaha and to all these different venues. We screened TIG at a comedy club, uh, at a hospital, inside of college classrooms, high school classrooms, and it's been amazing to get the feedback and response of all these varied audiences and have the opportunity to uh, really sort of intimately find out about the experience that uh, people had watching the film and to answer questions that they're curious about. I definitely felt like I needed this discussion in my own personal life with wanting to pursue the, my dreams of being able to write and the fact that I had the people that we had in that room just now telling us to go with their passion, go with their dream. I think that alone just kind of fueled my fire. That aspect of someone who directed that film saying, go for your dream, go for your passion, I was just like, okay, don't have to tell me twice. I'm doing it. <laughs> Good evening, hello. I have cancer, how are you? I was sitting there watching and I texted, Tig is doing something historic. The idea that this show happened went viral. I had a reverse series of events. Um, 2010, I lost my mom. Uh, later that year, I was in a car accident. And then I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and was bedridden. And I was terrified to tell anybody. So I did the opposite of Tig. I withdrew and I didn't let anyone know that I was ill and that I was struggling. And so now I regret that. I see her story and I think, wow, if only I had allowed people to, to support me and, and, and help me through it, it would have been a very different scenario, but I applaud Tig and I, and I truly admire her courage. To have that personal one-on-one -on -one feedback, uh, it, it, it's been really incredible. And it's been a reminder to me uh, about the power of story and how it can affect people in such personal and profound ways. And uh, to be able to explore that sort of outside the norm of the festival or a theater in these more intimate settings has been a real eye-opener and, and a great learning experience for me. We have one shot. This is what being alive is all about. It's so cliche, but it's like you're alive. You might as well take chances.